dice, of course, waiting in the finals for the winner of this. If it is Hawk that wins this game, we'll be seeing a best of five between him and dice. We're no strangers to that. We're no strangers to Cheek either versus either of these players. Go for the Death Knight. No Lich first. OMG, it didn't disconnect. Yeah, that was... I mean, it really hasn't happened that many times that flow hasn't worked. I think that might have been the second time ever for me that flow didn't work. Maybe the third? But it's very rare that it doesn't work. But it's nice to always have the safety net. Like, in the past, if the overlay would break before flow, it'd just be like, overlay's broken, we gotta watch the whole game without an overlay, right? And in the past, also, our overlay happened to remove the entire UI and then add our own UI in. So if we remove that UI and then our UI we add in doesn't work, you just have nothing that you're looking at. You're pretty much just looking at a cinematic screen. So nowadays, it's quite uh, quite a bit better overall when things don't work. Lab creep. And DK with Rod is going to go across. I like this style from Sheik. I like the super aggressive one Death Knight style. Maybe less consistent, but... If it goes well, it goes really well. Oil on the Archmage. I like that approach as well. This is a TED approach, dare I say. Throw the mana on the Archmage right away. Honestly, really ahead of his time, TED. It seems simple, but... Pressuring a hero with the hopes of never killing the hero. Or with the knowledge that you'll never kill the hero is actually kind of like a... Dare I say high-level thing. And TED knew it 14 years ago. But he would do it a lot more aggressively. He just put all of his mana on the Archmage in the early game sometimes. Fourth farm. Fountain. He was looking for the peasant building the farm. Footmen go across. Ghouls meet them in the middle. Not going to attack or is he... Okay. Footmen go across. Okay, this is cool. Archmage is going to do it solo with Militia. DK is still here. Staff of Teleportation. Ghouls defend the footmen that are trying to make space for the Archmage to creep. It's just heroes versus heroes and units versus units up here. Is it Ted or TED? I say TED, but you could say either or. Okay. This is tough for Hawk, I should say. I think. I think it's tough for Hawk. One footman goes down. No Acolytes died. That was already the last hit we saw. This creeping cannot be completed. That's two peasants going down. Really nicely done from Sheik to send the ghouls back. This is just well played all around. Three peasants, four peasants go down. Like, the play from Hawk to send the footman across is like pretty much what Fortitude does sometimes. It's pretty close to what 402 does, which generally works, but the fact that Sheik just defends with his ghouls and keeps the DK around with the staff teleportation. It's very nicely done. Very nicely done. Hard to say where mistakes were made. Maybe Hawk should have kept a couple of footmen with him. And the last hit there as well for Sheik. My god, man. I'm liking everything I'm seeing out of Sheik, though. No doubt. Even surrounds the footman just straight up. A player's force is under attack. Counter surround. Shouldn't find a kill. Doesn't. will be woken up when Hawk tries to heal. Cheek is in full control. Boop. Healing for you. I mean, it's a little bit of healing.
Gargs. I was going to say double slaughterhouse. What are you supposed to do? A player's force is okay, so the expansion will get up. Power building it was six. But when will Hawk be tacking by eight minutes? If that, I'm only going to have six on Lumber in a second. Because trying to end this at tier two. Will he get the wand? The gargs a throw? Potentially, yes. Potentially. I don't think it's out of the question. They scrape him mock. Four Gargs. Only anti-air is the Archmage. He sends that Water Elemental into the main. Find that cool. A lot of pressure coming Hawk's way. Trying to get a Lumber Mill up for Guard Towers, but he'll never get any Guard Towers up at this rate. Six Gargs are soon going to be here. Level 3 DK. Thought he was almost going to go Aura Level 2, but let's go for the Coil need to deal with the water elementals and he will do just that. Oh, that was one negation. I was like, did he just use a dust? We need to change the sound. Oh my god. It's so weird that it's the same sound as dust. Sound like Dispel? True. It should. Yeah, if it, you're going to use a sound that's already in the game, it should sound like that. Or just make it... Doesn't uh, Ritual Dagger have a sound? At least make it that. Don't make it Dust. It's super weird. Yeah, or just make it the bloop of Abolish, you know? Dagger's just death pack sound, I think. Ah, yes. No one's ever complained about that, but the, the fact that it's dust just feels weird, don't you think? I've never been, like, put off by the sound of Ritual Dagger. But you can heal Gargs in daytime at the fountain. All you have to do is hit move on the dragon and then shift and move again. And then the, it'll say, move to this dragon. Until you get to the dragon and then move here. But they never actually get to the dragon. Or no, it'll say, sorry, it'll say, follow this dragon. And then move here. And of course, if the dragon's still alive, you can always follow it. And as long as you're on a move command, the creeps won't aggro. Nine minutes, no attack. Yeah. But uh, as soon as he is tier 2, power build 2 workshops, and those gargs are going to be useless. Sheik didn't need to go this all in. But, okay. The towers get cancelled. Very careful. Okay, this is working for Sheik. This is working. Hawk is going to get to tier 2, and he's going to be able to start building workshops. But is he going to have taken way too much damage by then? Sheik is actually building an Acolyte. Don't know why. I 
question becomes, I suppose. The only question that matters is, can Hawk get enough flying machines out to deal with the Gargs before this base is actually dead? He's not mining here, yes, but it's still two base versus one, technically. Can he get flying machines out before the Town Hall's dead? Probably not. But we'll see how much he can delay with his Archmage. Shop coming up. He needs two at least, Town if not three defense. workshops. Mountain King. Or do you just go something like a panda or an alchemist? Vapper. Maybe Sheik realizes the urgency in which he needs to kill this Town Hall. When he has the window, he goes tier 3 as well. It's gotta be it. No Lumber for Hawk either. How many peasants? He's got enough peasants on Lumber, but this this gotta be no way. He's dead. Players forces are under attack. Not to mention he's losing all the farms. Gonna take hours to kill them though. I think the only way Hawk has a chance is if Sheik just runs all of his gargs in here, trying to break this base as well, and loses all of them to towers and flying machines. Most black cannon tier two. It's been quite a while. 1.30, right? Something around there. And you can really micro fly machines versus guards. You can kite them all day. Look at this. So in theory, this amount of flying machines should counter the guards. And we're seeing that theory put to test. Is really micro on these flying machines. It's 27 supply. I'll admit, though, it is fun from Hawk's perspective to try to micro these flying machines perfectly. So I don't doubt him for staying in this game, even if he doesn't think he's going to win. Dude, micro. Heal scroll forced. People under micro their flying machines quite a bit. You can do a lot with very little. But people oftentimes just sort of attack move them, like they do with air units all the time. Almost level 5. Death Knight, no doubt. This water elemental will do it. Player's forces are under attack. Bark Mage is going to be forced into a potion. Very much like Needless Micro in a way. If you don't have like a peasant blocked by farms in the corner here in your control group. <laughs> or no, wait, that's that's a scout micro, right? This it's just a overlord in your control group. With Needless, right. 
I'm talking about Blue Dwarf, of course. It looked good. He was starting to kill fly um, Gargs, and then he just AFK'd them. Gargs are Mutas, Corsair Micro Fly Machines. I guess if you had to make a comparison, probably true. Yeah, Fly Machines are definitely more Corsair because Corsairs have the movement speed to kite forever, right? Alright, I was saying scouts, I meant Corsairs. Scouts are the useless unit that no one builds, right? <laughs> I remember my Brood War. <laughs> Hawk's about to kill a lot, but he's invested a ton of flying machines to do so. And he leaves. Oh, so close to killing. That would have been so satisfying to kill those guards. So satisfying. satisfying to kill those gargs. But he doesn't get it, and it's 1 or 1-1. Uh, one, one. Yeah, it's 1-1. One, one. I was like, is it 2-0? No, it's 1-1. We have a tied series. Oh, my bad. Hi. Did we not go to this? Oh, there we go. Twisted Meadows is going to be map number 3. 40 seconds. Waiting for flow. This will be the last game before the grand finals versus dice. Are you guys ready for game number three? Can you believe it? How far we've come today. The start of the day, we had no one had won. We had no winners. We had no losers. Now we're down to but three players and soon to be but two. Look how far the journey has brought us. Brought us? Brought us. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Here's game number three. In the bottom left, we have Hawk and Twist Mills. Upper right is Sheik. No mercenary camp spawn, but Lab is just as creep a bull these days. And I've learned this stream that you can just put a bull behind anything and it makes it a proper word. Hello, Dad. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get on that. I gotta get on that. Since I have time to leave my house ever, I will, I will look into that. Will it be a mountain king? Will it be a mountain king? Archmage again, as expected from a player like Hawk. Oh, Granny, yes, Baron. Yes, indeed, Baron. Yes, yes. That fight. And Acolyte Scout. This is Ted Fiend's. No, second, second Zig. Ghouls with a Scout. Look at this tower positioning. Kind of cool. Um, obviously, a terrible position later on. But with this lab creep initially, it's going to be pretty good to help defend the harass. In the past, we'd even see players, like when I say past, I mean like 2012, players right? 12 years ago. Um, this arcane tower used to be built like in the center right here. You know what I mean? Remember when people were doing that? It was so weird, but it was just to defend the death knight a little bit better. This is sort of an in-between.
Archmage took a lot of damage. Did get Rune Bracers. That's pretty good. Hawk has gone Mountain King on this map and recently. I cast a lot of his games. Anyway, one Peasant goes down. One Footman goes down, too. Scraven did not go great for Hawk. What? A trapper. Again, the Death Knight harass goes really well. There's another coil. This priest will not go. The Hawk. Game tower's up, but damage has kind of been done. A player's Similar situation to last game, but there's no fountain. Will the footman do that aggro play again? Whoop. Careful. Okay, it does go to Hawk eventually. Best item possible in this matchup? Yes, but it doesn't help you in the early game, really. Reducing level 1 coil from 70 to 49 damage. Which you regenerate in about the cooldown of a coil at 21 health. Is that how much it is? I don't know if my math is right there. I might be entirely wrong. Totally wrong. Oh, no, it's around. Yeah, it's around how much it is. Thirty-three? Wait. I don't know. Who cares? Sitting here trying to castle, doing math at the same time. Archmage! Player's forces One auto attack, and the coil might have not killed. Rune braces could come into play. He's got boots. Tools. Defended by Militia, trying to get a shop up to heal. Footman trying to pressure the DK and the ghouls to go back home. DK. We'll go back for now. Nice micro with the Archmage. Not allowing too many auto attacks because then the coil would force the TP. A militia being called, and two footmen are here. Three, six, eight, and two footmen. And the Archmage will go back too. Okay, Hawk eventually is going to get the expansion up. There's a staff gun. Right there. He gets level two. Round. Hawk rarely goes for surrounds, but that was uh, desperation, it seems like. Coil may not kill. Yeah, it doesn't. Rune Bracers. There we go. A player's forces are under attack. And Ar oh, Archimage died to the ghouls that were up here. Oh my god. <laughs> Didn't see those coming. Sheik. Really well played. Really well played game. The pressure, the aggression, I couldn't even keep up with it. And Sheik moves into the Grand Finals.